With graduations, celebrations, vacations, and all of the fun summer adventures ahead, now is the time to set a pattern for saving all the memories you make. A few apps will help you out with that, and you'll feel good about taking a few steps to consistently save and organize right on your phone. Jill Broadbent works these apps regularly and shares her best recommendations with us today. You're kind of part therapist in this moment because this, <laughs> is, this is the cloud that is hanging over my mom's shoulder constantly. Yes. Like I'm taking the pictures, yep. I'm in the moment, I'm doing nothing with Okay, them. then we're just gonna keep taking baby steps. That okay. was my goal is to help you figure all that out. So a few apps that are gonna help you. I broke it down to four different apps and for different reasons, because your focus might be a little different than, you know, there, right. there's different reasons you're um, saving those memories, but it all counts. And with all of these apps, I understand the idea is on the go. As yes. you go, yep. we're doing this in progress. But the other nice thing that gives you a little of that, like takes that guilt away, is you can do it one day a week instead of okay. every single day. You know, like, yeah. so there is the option to kind of go back in and do it when it works for you, but the goal is to make it consistent, right? To mm -hmm. do it regularly so you're not going, I'm years behind. Mm -hmm. You know, you're doing it on a regular basis. All right, if your goal or if your weakness is journaling, right. what's the app you recommend? So day one is an awesome app because it gives you some prompts. So you can go in every day and say, today was great, we went on the trail on our bikes and had such a fun time. You can put a little picture or a video clip. It lets you upload any kind of uh, media that you want to it, PDF, anything like that. But you're just going to pick a photo and then write whatever journaling. It's supposed to be small. It doesn't have to be this massive journal entry. Uh -huh. But what it does is it puts it on a calendar for you. And then when you look at the month in review, you see just a snippet of every single day. Nice. And so, Again, if you got behind, do yesterday's and today's, yeah. you know, it's fine. But it, the goal is to get you to just be thinking of something you'd want to document from each day, mm -hmm. as small as it might be, mm -hmm. you know, and then also just to give you a little bit of verbiage to go with that. There's value in that day to day. I mean, the legacy phrasing and statements will be made in forms of testimony or values yep. or core beliefs that will always come out in the end. But I would love to know what my mom, exactly. my grandma was doing in the that's day to day. There's, so, there's purpose uh, in that. That's how I feel about that. Okay, if you're not printing your photos, you've got okay. a great tool for us. I feel very strongly, as much as I love these apps and I feel there's such value in using it, just know, I mean, I did use an app for a while that isn't supported anymore, it went away. Mm -hmm. You know, so make sure you're exporting things, make sure if you're saving all of these things, all the apps I'm talking about today do have a way that you can export them, print them, save them somewhere else other than within the app. So mm -hmm. I would recommend that. But when you're talking about your photos, printing your photos is such a huge thing. Your kids want to see them more than just a scroll yes, through a camera touch. roll, right? So Persnickety Box is this awesome app. It is a subscription, so you pay for that each month, but at the end of the month, you get a box shipped to you in the mail, comes like this, so it's awesome. It's designed like Tinder, mm -hmm. so that's how it was designed. So that you go through your camera roll and you say, I like that photo enough, and you slide it into your box. So you can see you just drop in, and so I skip a bunch because I don't need them all printed. How slick. But 30 a month, so one a day if you wanted to look at it that way. Yeah. Or you can say, our trip to Puerto Rico, and that's all in one box. And so, it's a keepsake. And it ships to you. The box awesome. is so nice, you can keep it on a shelf, or you can take them out and use them in your scrapbook. So or tuck them love away getting the prints, kids to for see. sure. All right, if you're struggling with video, you like the one yes. second each day. Yeah, it's so fun, and I'm new to it, so I'm not the best at um, giving you a ton of information about it, but it has been really fun, because you just take one second video. I mean, it's so amazing, too, how much, when you see that one second, you're like, I remember that. Like, it brings mm -hmm. back all the memories. But then at the end of the month, you have a 30 second clip of your month at a glance. A and you can use live photos. So if you're already taking live photos, then that has enough movement to give you that one second. So I have a friend who lives abroad and she does it religiously. And I love seeing what their 30 second of the month looks yes. like. Well, you capture a flavor and an energy from life that that is worth saving, that yes. is worth remembering. All right, finally, if family history is in your goal view, yes. like I wanna be better at that, what's right. an app you recommend? And I love the Memories app. It's done by Family Search, so it's a secondary app. You can have the Family Search and then you can have the Memories app, and it lets you upload documents, audio files, photos, written text, and my kids love using this. And that's what I think is fun, making family history more approachable and not feeling like you have to do this deep dive. You can, like, if grandpa's telling a funny story at dinner, 
just record them right there and mm -hmm. then you can tag them. Because it's tied to Family Search, you can tag it to anybody. So if he was telling you a story about his parents and they've passed away, you can tag that person who's passed away and the story's about and then anyone who searches for them on Family Search can listen to your dad tell the story about his mom. The it's way it's all interlinked is amazing and I'm yeah. so glad you're pulling our attention to these yep. four approachable apps. It all counts, apps. every little right. bit, every little second. So thank you, thank you so much.